So hello guys, I welcome you very kindly in my next video. And as always, straight to the point, no waffling, no bullshit. As the title of the video suggests, the tapping noise from the engine of Suzuki RF900. Right, so this is the situation, this is the exact scenario that I used to experience. I would start my bike, start my bike, my bike from a dead cold. So let's say I wasn't riding it for a day or two. I start it up, it would start nice and easily. It would run nicely and quietly. And then within about three minutes, and this is no failure because I was actually testing it with the, uh, the stopwatch. Within three minutes from the time when I pushed the start button, it would start tapping. It was like a very audible, annoying tapping sound. And it was always coming from this area around here. So it seemed to me it's coming from somewhere from the right of the motorcycle. All right, <laughs> you see, <laughs> these fellas are just, uh... all right. <laughs> Yeah, this is what happens when you've got RF900, bro. Everybody loves you. So anyway, going back to the subject. Um, it will be a very strange tapping noise. From the right side of the engine. And... Uh, and it used to freak me out. You see, this is my second RF900. And the one I had before was also the 1994 model, and it developed exactly the same issue. And I honestly could not even tell you what is the flipping problem. But it just freaked me out. So I thought, you know, it's been lasting for over a year, and people were telling me, oh, that's just what they have, you know, those older, like, mid-90s bikes, that's what they have, don't worry about it. But because I thought I'm gonna be keeping this bike for longer, I thought, I need to sort this out, you know, I love this bike. So, and the funny thing about it was, you know, a few minutes after it started tapping, the tapping would eventually go away. So this is why I was still riding it for about a year. Because I thought, well, if the noise quiets down, obviously it can't be anything serious. But eventually I thought, you know, I'm keeping the bike for longer. I, I need to sort this out. And so I went to my pally garage in Bristol. I told them what bothers me. And they said, right, this is gonna be one of three issues, they said. It's gonna be, well, four issues, really. They said it's gonna be the valve gaps, uh, which I thought is gonna be the most likely uh, scenario because I, I, I've never done it in any of my bikes, so God knows when they've been cleared. The second option, they said, it could be your cam chain, cam tensioner combo. You know, and this bike has, uh, slightly over 30,000 miles, which would suggest it might be actually getting a bit noisy. And the third scenario, highly unlikely scenario, they said it might be the carburation issue. Uh, but I precluded that option because with carburation issue, you would have tons of other problems. And this bike seems to be running really smooth, nice, it doesn't hesitate. So I don't think it was the carb. So anyway, they said, we'll take it for between two and three weeks and we'll solve the problem out. So I apologize for not posting any videos for some time, but this is why I couldn't, I couldn't post them because I had no bike. So anyway, um, here by the way, you've got a video sample uh, showing you what, was I, what, what I was experiencing. It's not the best quality video, but I think you can actually figure out what the tapping noise was. I can hear it, you might not, but if you really listen carefully, you will. So there's the video for you.
And so, as you could hear, I hope you could, it was very strange and annoying. So I thought, I've got to sort this out. And so they took it for three weeks, and they said that to do the valve clearance on those four-cylinder Suzuki engines, you've got to dig deep. So I thought, you know, if I'm paying 200 quid labor cost for doing all that operation, I might as well pay 100 quid more and just have my cam chain and cam chain tensioner replaced. And this is what I did. Uh, so all in all, I paid 450 quid. And that included new cam chain tensioner, which was OEM Suzuki product. Uh, a new cam chain, high quality DID product. Uh, and valve clearance with new shims. And this is a nasty job, because you've got to take the bike pretty much all apart. So, I couldn't do it myself, because I've never done it before. I don't even know how to approach this subject. And, uh, you know, they kept it for three weeks because they're very busy with other bikes. But eventually, it's all sorted, and let me tell you. Woo, that is rather loud. Um, so, I've picked it up today. Um, it seems to me that the issue is sorted. It doesn't tap anymore. You know, I started it from dead cold and it was just lovely. So that's a good news. Um, to be honest with you, when you really get your ears close to the engine, you might actually still hear some gentle, very little tapping. But I don't think this has anything to do with full function of the engine. Because essentially, this is a four-cylinder engine with 16 valves, you know, two camshaft. There's a lot of moving parts in it. And there will be some sort of little click, clicking, tapping, and all weird sounds over there. But I don't think there's anything wrong with it. That's just how it sounds. I think it sounds like that brand new off the lot. So, I'm very glad the problem has been finally resolved. And so, if you hear anything similar in your RF900 or any other Suzuki four-cylinder motorcycle, most likely that's what the problem is. It's your valve gaps or simply your uh, cam chain being a bit noisy. Uh, and the funny thing is, this is my second Suzuki RF900. And uh, both as the last one, sorry, uh, same as the last one. That's also 1994 model. And the one I had before used to do exactly the same thing. And the one I had before, also had around 30,000 miles, so I guess that's just normal thing. You've got to do your maintenance and servicing and then it's going to be all good.